Hey, how's it going, my delicious nerd and nerdettes of art? And in this video, I, Didi Mark, <laughs> I caved. Yes, yes, people, you read the title of this video correctly. I, you know, despite all the stuff I always say of not wanting to do tutorials and blah, 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 caved. Why? Because I was thinking, you know, one day I was reading the comments to a video and people were talking about how helpful I am in their journey to creating comics and manga and stuff and I was happy to see that because because that's like my entire ethos. That's the reason I do what I do. I want to inspire and help create successful artists and creatives and then I realized I'm missing something. If my ethos as a brand, as a channel, and as an artist is to help you bring your comic or story to life and help you be the best artist you can be, there was one thing integral that I was not doing and and it's teaching you how to draw. So yeah, you guys won. You get the Diddy Mark drawn tutorials that I always get so many messages and comments and DMs about. So whatever, all that shit said, for the foreseeable future, every once in a while, I will upload a video that is more traditional drawing tutorial but don't worry my dumb ass goofy sense of humor will still be in it but basically i'll be teaching you how to draw stuff or better yet how i draw stuff with the goal of having you guys not just copy me but you know take the general idea of these tutorials and come up with your own ways of doing things yourself and oh my oh my god I've been wasting so much time blabbering. What am I doing? You didn't click this video to listen to my therapy sessions. You clicked this video because you wanted to learn how to draw the human head at any angle. Jesus, Didi Mark, get your head in the game, man. But yeah, sorry for that nonsensically long intro. Then again, it wouldn't even be a DD Mark video if I didn't waste time at the start. God dang it, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again, aren't I? I'm wasting more time. Get to the point, DD bag. <laughs> okay, how to draw a head from any angle from me, Mr. DD Dank Bro Tifia Girl. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, Nerd Mark. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you're not new to me and my content and my channel, I hope you're already subscribed. If you're not, then please do. And if you are new to this channel, welcome to hell. <laughs> and also, please subscribe as well. But back to the point, when it comes to drawing the human head, there are two shapes to keep in mind while you draw the human head, which are an oval for the cranium and whatever the fuck this shape is for the draw. I don't, I don't know, it's like a... It's like a cube that tapers off at the bottom, whatever, who cares? I'll dedicate sections of this video to explain these two main shapes, so don't stress about it too much for now. So yeah, if you've watched my basic anatomy video, you know although there are two main shapes to master when it comes to the knowledge of drawing the head and drawing it at any angle, I, DD Mark, personally add a third one, and it's a rectangular cube in which the cranial oval shape goes into. Are you confused? Well, shut up. Don't worry, I'm getting to it. Oh yeah, I will say now as a caveat that I, Diddy Mark, in this video and all my future drawing tutorials will be teaching you how I do or draw things, you know? If I know any alternative methods, I will include those as well. But yeah, how the fuck would I teach you to do something any other way than the way I do it? So yeah, do with that what you will. These videos are how I do things, it's not like the industry standard or whatever. That being said, don't copy my style. Just learn the fundamental elements of the tutorial and not necessarily copy this. Oh my God, I'm wasting time again. Keep it pushing, DD Mark. Okay, so before we put the head together and learn how we can draw it in any angle, it's important to understand the drawing fundamentals and to also understand how to draw simple 3D shapes at every angle and stuff. So that being said, let's break down and observe the two halves of the head or better yet, look at the main shapes that make up the human head as well as that third-ish shape I mentioned earlier. So starting off here, let's look at the oval that will make the cranium of the skull. This, for the most part, will always be an oval when drawing a person. This shape might be wider and maybe a little more elongated because people have different shaped skulls, but all in all, when you break down the shape, it's always an oval. Now see, if you haven't noticed the sides of your head, you know, where your ears are, they aren't rounded like this oval that you're looking at, or I hope they're not, they're flat. So that means you need to take this oval and slice off the sides because that's how the head is. And the flat sides are where your ears would go. So yeah, on the flat sides, I like to put a cross like this, right Yeah, And this cross will help us determine where the ear will sit on the side of the head and where the eyes will rest on the face. 
Okay, so after looking at the oval that makes the cranium, next up is the most flexible part of the face in terms of artistic liberties, the shape that makes the jaw. What I mean by most flexible part is generally the male and female jaw is very different and the way you draw them will vary, you know, based on your art style. Also, people have very differently shaped jaws, you know, some people have jaws that look a little more boxy, some people have jaws that look a little pointier, and some people have like rounder jaws. I personally usually kind of sort of almost definitely most of the time have a boxier jaw for my male characters and a rounded jaw for my female characters. So yeah, these are the shapes that I use for both. Remember when I said you needed to know how to draw 3D shapes at any angle? Yes, that will come in handy when you want to draw the head at different angles. So yeah, there you go with that. Okay, so having covered the oval that makes the cranium and the tapered box or whatever that shape is that makes the jaw, this is how you put them together to make the head. And as you can see, it essentially looks like a human head already. But yeah, no, video's not over yet, buddy, okay? So yeah, remember that third shape I personally said I'd like to add? Yes, this rectangular cube shape, and it's sort of invisible. And what I mean by this is that I use it as a guide when I want to draw the head in different angles, you know, from above or below or from weird angles or stuff. And the reason why is because not only does it add more volume to the back of the head, that gives my own personal style that boxy look that I personally like, but it's easier to draw and visualize a box in different angles and perspectives than it is an oval. So if I wanted to draw a human head from an anti-view perspective, for example, I can visualize the shape of the skull better with a box rather than an oval. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. Oh God, I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, to explain how I use the box in combination with the two main shapes to draw the head at different angles, let me draw the human head a bunch of times in different angles so you can see how easy it is to turn the head in any direction and angle and stuff. Okay, so as I'm drawing, now you can see how easy it is to draw the head when you put these shapes together, take notes of all the things I mentioned earlier, and when you have a solid grasp of drawing 3D shapes from any direction and angle. P.S. If you find yourself getting triggered that I have this caveat or hard rule of you needing to learn 3D shapes for you to be able to do anything that I'm doing in this video or my previous anatomy videos or any of my future drawing tutorials, stop it. You're getting ahead of yourself. The fact of the matter is you shouldn't be getting triggered because you should already know this if you're watching an anatomy tutorial. If you don't know how to draw 3D shapes and rotate and draw them at any angle and also understand their forms, you should not be learning to draw a human, period. Period. This video nor any anatomy video on the planet will help you if you cannot draw simple shapes in 3D. So I recommend you work on that before you try to draw anything at all because your work will come out looking flat, warped, and just plain weird looking. So yeah, that understanding of the simple 3D shapes in drawing, that is the foundation of all drawing. You need to know how to do that before you can draw anything that is convincing at all. So that being said, let's keep moving. So yeah, that's pretty much the human head in a nutshell and how you can draw it at any angle, nerd. Notice there's no facial features on this because this isn't the video for that because I plan to make a video on how to draw the human face down the line. But remember I talked about that cross on the flat side of the head and how it helps you know where to place the eyes and ears? Well, I'll show you that one real quick though. So yeah, using this cross for the ears, I like to center the ear smack dab in the middle of the cross and the circle, no, that's on the flat side of the head. Now, obviously the ear will sit differently on the head depending on the angle at which you're looking at said head. But since you know how to draw 3D shapes, you should also know their forms. So that means if you rotate the head at any angle, you should still be able to know where to place the ear if you use the cross, if that makes sense. Okay, for the eye line using that cross to know where to place the eyes on the head, you simply just take the center of that line on the cross that's at the side of the head where the ears are and you basically just follow the form of the oval all across and essentially using this line this is where i like to start drawing the eyes not the eyebrows but the eyes themselves lastly although i don't want to cover it in this video this is how the nose the eyebrows and mouth would sit on the face when i draw a head but like i said i'll cover that more in depth in a separate video and i also want to mention this this indentation in the head the shape right here is very important in the human face structure in terms of the eyebrows, the eyes, and the bridge of the nose, and how they all sit on the face when you draw the head in different or any angle at all. But that is a video for another day. But yeah, that's how I, Diddy Mark, draw the head from any angle. 
Thank you all for watching this video, you know, my first or I guess my second installment of my how to draw playlist here on YouTube. Um, hopefully in the future, I'm going to, you know, cover all types of stuff like muscle anatomy in the arms, the torso, the legs, all that good stuff. But yeah, hopefully this video is able to help somebody. <laughs> but anyways, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also turn on the notification bell so you get notified when my goofy self drops a new video. Also, also make sure to give the like button a good beating to let me know if you enjoyed the video as well and make sure to also leave a comment down below because I did mark respond to any and all comments besides let me know what tutorial you want to see me do next. Anyways, have a day as wonderful as the thighs on anime girls people. Till next time art nerds, tis I, Didi Daddy Mark, peace and love baby.